Victoria here. Today's video is a very simple title and it is When You Ruin Your New Clothes. African Home Edition, obviously. Okay, thank you. Enjoy. Victoria will be singing in church this Sunday. Do you remember? Yes, of course she remembers. She's even sitting beside me right now. <laughs> Great. All she needs to do is prepare one song to sing for the church. Yes, of course. She will do that. Okay, thank you. We'll see you on Sunday. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, have you been practicing your song? Yes, mommy, I have. Good, because you better not disgrace me. You know all the church members will be watching you. No, mommy, I won't embarrass you because God has blessed me with a beautiful voice. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but mommy, the only thing I'm nervous about is my clothes because I don't have anything to wear. Hey, you are right, oh. Don't worry, tomorrow I'll go to the shop and I'll buy you a breathtaking outfit to wear. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Um, do you know what size clothes I wear? Yes, extra large. Oh! No, mommy, I'm medium. Okay, no problem. Hello, hello, madam. How can I help you? My daughter will be singing in church on Sunday, so would you like to show me the nicest shoe and dress in this shop? Thank you. Of course. Follow me. Thank you. These items here are the shop's best items, but they are quite pricey. Pricey? Do you not know I am a rich woman? And they killed five lions for this bag. Well, the orange shoes are $50 plus the yellow dress are $50 altogether, $100, yeah? $100! That is daylight robbery. Jabbery? Robbery, robbery! Well, since it is your first time shopping here, eh, we can give you a discount. Ah, yes, please, give me a discount. Okay, uh, we give you 5% discount. 5%? Only 5%? Hey, you people are very stingy in this shop. How do you get customers? Sorry, madam. If you cannot afford these items, you can shop somewhere else. How dare you talk to me like that? Say insult! Listen, don't get me mad. I am here to buy something. And if you know you're not happy with your job, I will talk to the boss and tell him to fire you! Oh no, please, Medium, forgive me, I apologize. Better. Now tell me the last price of these items and let me go. Well, we can give both to you for $80. <laughs> $80? $80. Okay, I will take it. Only because I want my daughter to look the best in the church. Perfect. Please follow me, Madam. Madam, please, $80 when you're ready. Oh, yeah, rotate for 
Tom, you wrote games. See, my new daughter. Why is Victoria? Hey! I'm over here. What is it? You don't like it? You know I spent $80 on this outfit. Thank you, mommy, but it's so big. Oh! Of course it's big. I bought it big so you can keep growing and growing into it until you reach 100 years old. What? Do you know that? The shopkeeper that sold me this clothes, she told me only celebrities wear this outfit. Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. And I believe her. So you two now are a celebrity. <laughs> okay, mommy, I like it now. I'm sorry. Okay, please. Off this clock now and put it somewhere safe until Sunday. <laughs> Mommy, can I not wait for a bit longer? Absolutely never. You may dirty it and this clock is too expensive to be ruining. Eh? So better keep it until Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mommy, I'll put it away now and I will not wait till Sunday. Good. Okay, it's been a long day, so please let me rest. Oh, but I look so good. Maybe I should take a few photos for Instagram. I'll be the cool kid. You are going to Nigeria for us class tomorrow. Hmm, I need some lipstick. Okay, that's enough. Let me take it off before I get in trouble. I look like I almost gave myself so guys thank you so, so, so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you like comment and subscribe you can also feel free to follow me on Instagram Victoria Dienka underscore guys I just want to encourage you all to just keep pushing today is Sunday and tomorrow is gonna be Monday and we have a fresh brand new week and it may seem so like depressing for people who don't even want to push forward anymore but I'm telling you take back your week take back your week God has created a new week and is God willing going to allow you to enter the week. So I want you to make the most of this week. Don't allow the devil to rob your week from you. Take Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday by the throat and say, hey, yo, God is in control of my week. And because God is in control of my week, that means my week is going to be a good week because God is good. So don't allow the devil try to make this week look so daunting to you because no. You don't need to worry about tomorrow. The Bible says, what does it say? Hold on one sec. I ain't a pastor just yet. Okay, I got it. It says, therefore, I tell you, stop being worried or anxious about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body as to what you will wear. Is life not more than food and the body more than clothing? Guys, God is basically telling you, you don't need to worry about this. He put you in this world for him to provide for you. You think God will just throw you on this earth and leave you? No, he will never abandon you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Enter this week with a 
with your chest held high and your feet on your, your two fingers to your forehead and say, look, I'm going to march through this week by the grace of God. And I will also enjoy this life in the will of God and not allowing the devil to come into my mental and try to make me feel any less than. So yeah, guys, let's enter this new week with joy. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video again. See you next time. But for now, I'm out. Thank you. I am aware this can go very wrong. I am very aware. I am aware. I am aware. I am aware. I'm away. Hey, help me. Oh. Oh. Don't if this didn't even record, I'm telling you.